yeah. I gotta get you a splitter, so the next break I'm gonna try here yeah, too. Okay. Okay, I'm potting down. All right, all right, all right. Another day with Lady B and Rick on the Ricky Hendon Show. I'm telling you, we have a great show planned for you today. I just want to send some love out to, to Earl Powell Epton Music, who, who made that theme song for us, son. It's great, isn't it, Dad? We're a big fan of it here at the station, and we've been getting some good feedback. Good so, feedback. Yeah, good feedback. It's been great. All right, all right. You're here on the Ricky Hennon Show with Lady B. Say hey, Lady B. Hi. We love Lady <laughs> B on this show, don't oh, we? Oh, she is great. She is and, absolutely fantastic. fine. <laughs> she is so fine. Lady B is so fine. We got to turn that camera. Let them see Lady B <laughs> over there. Uh, you know, the Ricky Hennon Show is sponsored by SNS Pest Control. Their number is 773-826-7699. That's 773-826-7699, SNS Pest Control. And, of course, Citizens for Danny K. Davis, and he's having his State of the African American Mail on September 8th and 9th at UIC. We're also sponsored by Friends of Stan Moore. Give Stan Moore a call, Commissioner Moore, at 773-614-8704. Truth Restaurant. And Peyton Wilborn will be back here next week by popular demand. Peyton Woo! will be back. Peyton will... Everybody just loved Peyton when she was here. She was a ton of fun, Dad. She, she really was. was. <laughs> oh, yeah. And her restaurant, Truth, is at 56 East uh, Persian Road, which is uh, 39th Street. We had so much fun with Peyton, and we're glad to have her back. And Citizens for John Cullerton. And President Cullerton will be our guest next week. That's right, that's right. A lot of big guests coming up A lot of big guests coming up. (laughs) Right here, yes, today uh, we will have J.B. Pritzker, who is running for governor of the state of Illinois. And J.B. also, his campaign started uh, advertising with us today. We want to have to tell everybody that. I have a bunch of announcements, and we're going to get right to them right after the sports and the weather from Ricky. All right, Dad. Here, I'll take it over for you. To jump into the sports, so uh, the Cubs have won seven out of the last eight games. All right. Doing pretty well, doing pretty well here on the north side. Uh, they beat the Cardinals yesterday, three to two. There uh, you go. A very, very hotly contested game, evening up the series. Uh, we'll see if they can take the series tonight as they play at 7 p.m., and it'll actually be a nationally televised game on ESPN, so anybody can watch. 7 p.m., all right. Go Cubs! Yep. And then flipping the script here, uh, going back down to the south side, so uh, the White Sox, on the other hand, are headed in the exact opposite direction. What? Uh, so they have dropped their last eight in a row. Eight and, in uh, a row? Uh, after losing to the Royals last night, 7-2. to two. Um, They close out that series at one fifteen today. But there is some exciting news that for both teams, you know what it is? What is that? The Crosstown Classic. The Crosstown Classic hey, is coming up. It starts on Monday here. Monday, Sox versus the Cubs. Yeah. Cubs versus the Sox. North side, south side. We, it, it, we're just going to enjoy it no matter what. I think it'll be a good time um, for sure. Um, it starts at Wrigley Field. First two games there, and then it flips it over and goes out south. And so that'll probably bode well for the Cubs doing on how well they're doing. But no matter who wins, Chicago wins. Chicago wins. And but- what about the weather? Is it uh? I know it's been raining a lot. Yeah, it's been raining like crazy here in Chicago. Thunderstorms. Um, but luckily, today, Sunday, might be the last day that we get those thunderstorms for a while. Mixed reports coming in. You never know what the weather's going to be in Chicago. Yeah, that's true. You just never know. Um, but it is going to cool down at least the next couple days. Uh, 89 and rainy tonight. But moving on over to L.A. because, again, we're getting that national attention now. Love so it, love it. Cover the whole country. It's about 81 degrees and sunny out there, and over in the Big Apple, it is 77 degrees uh, and a little cloudy. So, how out west, a little chilly out uh, uh, up east. Is That's that right. It? All, All right. right, and rainy, rainy, rainy here in Illinois. Well, uh, you can't do anything about the weather, they say, so dress, dress accordingly. As you can see, I'm all cool and everything. I had my, my shirt open yesterday. We had this big party with Eugene Bush. Uh, e Trade Productions. It's his birthday too, Eugene. Happy birthday! Oh, happy birthday, Eugene Bush. Yep, he's going to the ATL to pursue his career 
in the theater industry, and we had a great time last night, Rick. Oh, my God. That's I got, right. y'all, I got lit. I got lit. I <laughs> turned up. I was so turned up. I, I, made, I made it home, everything. I was going to let me eat something next thing you know. I was sweet. Man, we got we got it in last night at a it. new place. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, they're going to be uh, uh, advertising with us. They call it um, uh, Row 24. They're on 24th Street, and it was a very nice venue. We had a very, very good time. Wonderful. Let me do these announcements because I don't want to miss them. Congressman Danny K. Davis is having his town hall meeting on the state of the African-American mail. Yeah, Danny. Uh, as I said, September 8th and 9th. Uh, September 8th is 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Uh, and then Saturday, September the 9th, it's 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. at UIC on Roosevelt and Halstead. Uh, the last summer series for a concert series that uh, Rep Representative uh, Justin S Slaughter and my guy Stan Moore are having at Brookings uh, Patio, 9315 South Ashland. The last one is today. 20 today is 23rd, right? Uh, today is actually, yeah, today is the 23rd. 23rd. Right. Okay, starts at 3 p.m., 3 p.m. to 5 p.m., and, of course, you can call friends and stand more. But you probably go there. They probably closed today. But his number is 773-614-8704. Uh, our call-in number is 773-763-9278. That's 773-763-9278 at, here at WCPT, 820 a.m. So we will be taking your calls. The Black Harvest Film Festival. Our, my niece, your cousin. Yes. My Isha May, yes. my Chicago. We're so proud of my Isha. <laughs> She has her film being shown on the verge of motion. Woo! On the verge of motion. Did motion. I say that? Motion. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and that's going to be Wednesday uh, and Thursday at the Gene Sisko of Theater. And that's going to be wonderful. Uh, call the Gene Sisko Theater for tickets or, or the Black Harvest Film Festival. Uh, and they have other films there. But our family member will be having her piece, The Verge of Motion, Wednesday, August the 9th at 6 p.m., and Thursday the 10th at 8.15. And she's been in film and theater for a long time, guys. Talented, talented. For a long, uh, long time. She's so. just talented. Uh, also, Stan Moore has his second annual golf outing, and that's coming up Tuesday, August the 8th, and that's going to be 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. at Ingle Glen Ellen's Country Club. Uh, uh, that's... Uh, on uh, McCarthy Road, and again, call Stan at that that number I just gave out for Stan, 773-614-8704, especially if you love to golf. All right, and last, the birthdays. It's birthdays. Like I said, Gene, Eugene Bush birthday, big 40th, the big 4 Yes, E-Trade Production. Gene is the one who did our videos, Rick. He, he produced uh, and filmed Stupid. Badass kids, and they're both on YouTube uh, under Hollywood Hendon. Hollywood Hendon, guys. Our videos, we've been working very hard on them. They're very, very funny, comedy-focused, uh, just like here on the show. Uh, look those up on Hollywood Hendon on YouTube or on our Facebook page, Hollywood Hendon. They're all up there as well. Yeah, or on Ricky Hendon. And he also uh, video Bring Back the Blues, which is on the Facebook page. And uh, we ain't scared of no goat, my cub song. That's, right. on, that's also on the uh, Facebook page. So happy birthday to Eugene Bush and Karen Lewis, the president of the Chicago Teachers Union. Hey, Karen, give us a love. Woo, woo, woo. K Karen's birthday was this week that just passed, and she will be our guest on uh, uh, August the, the 6th. Karen will be here. We just love her. She is my queen and, and, and just, just love her. It's her. She celebrated her birthday. Actress Nicole Reed, a very talented actress. Happy birthday, Nicole. It was her birthday. And Big Pharaoh. Big Pharaoh. Big Pharaoh, singer and community activist. Biggs, happy birthday to Big Pharaoh as well. Well, a lot has been going on. We have a caller uh, calling in from Waukegan. Uh, Jerry, we're going to go ahead and take this call. We always try to take our calls. You're on the air with on the Ricky Hinton Show. All right, Jerry, what's up, fam? That's my uncle. Hey, uncle, what's going on? All right, man. And you're the... All right, all right. So you're, you're the Democratic, one of the Democratic precinct committeemen in the Waukegan, North Chicago? Yeah, 
area? Okay. Well, yeah, he's he say uh, we just got a call. He'd be running just a little bit late, uh, but he will be here soon. Uh, you could either call back or I'm, I'm sure he's listening in the car. Uh, go ahead with your question, and uh, we'll we'll, we'll play, give it to him in case you don't get it back it back through because we get a lot of calls. What did you want to ask J.B. Pritzker? Okay, the budget deficit and term limits, we will present those to Pritzker uh, when he gets here. Yeah, we'll definitely bring those up, and I think the deficit is a big one especially. Obviously, we are in historically bad debt right now, so we'll get that talked about for sure. Yeah, because you certainly have to pay, you have to pay your bills. Well, we're going to uh, make sure that he asks, we ask him those two questions, uh, commitment, and I'm glad that they can hear us well in Wall King in North Chicago. Woo-woo! Yeah! yeah. All right, let Pastor know. Tell Pastor we said hello. We know it's a Sunday, so but they can always get our shows later on SoundCloud.com, right, Rick? Yes, SoundCloud.com, and they will. We'll have videos up here soon on YouTube as well. But for right now, they can go to SoundCloud.com, uh, the Ricky Hendon Radio Show, and find all the shows. Yeah, just put uh, Ricky Hendon in the search engine search box, and then you can get all previous shows. This show will be up probably Monday, so it's always a, one day later. I think we have a call on line two. Thank you, Jerry. Caller, you're going. You're on the air. We're on the Ricky in the show. Not yet. He's getting the information. Oh, we're getting right the, we're getting the information on that caller. Okay, so uh, we will ask uh, JB Prisker those couple of questions uh, when he gets here, and we do have to pay some bills. So why don't we go ahead and know it's a little early for that that first break, but um, Lady B, if you would, why don't we just go ahead and take that uh, wedding team break uh, right now, if we could. And then we'll take the call uh, after this break. We'll be right back on WCPT 820 AM on the Ricky Hennon Show with Ricky and Ricky. That's right. <laughs> we'll be right back. Um, are you speaking into the mic? Because Matt says yeah, he couldn't hear you. And I heard you fine. Matt you couldn't hear me? Yeah. You just sound like you're far away from me. Yeah. Can you get closer? That way. Yeah. Yeah. Ricky Jr. is really fine. Yeah. So, yeah. You probably should talk more into the mic. Okay. Okay. Turn around the drug epidemic. And I have my levels fine. So I don't know why he couldn't hear you. Hi, I'm Illinois Senate President John Cullerton. For more than two years, our state had no budget. Is that the right one, right? For more than two years, our state and our community suffered. Thousands of jobs were lost. Who knows how many opportunities? Governor Brown had held us hostage in a political war with no winners. Finally, we had enough. We passed the budget without it, and then overrode Browner's veto to make it the law. You wanted me to come in with a music or um, freedom or Beyonce knockout you have here or just with truth? He couldn't hear Rick, but I heard him. His levels was fine. I don't know. And Michael said he he was able to hear him fine. But just in case, to speak close to the mic. Just in case. Okay. Yeah, just speak, speak close okay. to the mic. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Yeah, like three inches. I was a little back. I could scroll a little bit. Yeah, typically you want to be about six, okay. but I would do you know, three or four. I don't know. I Cool. My levels are fine, so I don't know. Yeah. I'll hear it back when I. I'm we have about a minute. Not that close, Dad. 
going hot. All right, all right. We got my man here. <laughs> J.B. Pritzker. You know, we like to bring you in on your own theme song, Chief. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Kid, who gets their own theme song? That's amazing. That's right. It is the coolest show uh, on good. the radio. Let JB know if y'all like that. I wrote that. Me and Earl wrote that for JB. He's awesome. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> Listen, this is this is one thing that I like about JB is that, you know, he, he's approachable. He's a, you know, we have a lot of elected officials sometimes and the people uh, really need to get to know them as a person. You know what I'm saying? So welcome to the Ricky Henderson Show. Thank you. Is it good to have him here, son? I think so. I think so. Seems like a nice guy. Yeah, uh, thanks. <laughs> I know right, you Now will. I got to win him over. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think that uh, you, you're doing a great job of winning us over. And I know you were coming from uh, the churches and, and on all mm -hmm. of that. It is a Sunday. We get that. So, so we're glad that you uh, made it here. And we're just glad to see you. There was a couple of questions. Uh, one caller called in from Waukegan. Uh, uh, he's a Democratic commitment up there, Jerry Archibald, um, who, who happens to be uh, Rick's uncle. Um, and uh, I, I used to be married to, to his sister. He's a committee in uh, Waukegan in North Chicago. And he wanted to know, um, the first question was, how would you, what would you do to, about this budget, paying the bills, the, the, the backlog of bills that the state has? Well, you know, I've been an outspoken advocate for progressive income tax in this state. I think it's hugely important that we you know, make sure that we're not taxing middle class people who are striving to get to the middle class when we need to pay for things. And instead, we go to people who can most afford it. You know, we're one of only four states in the United States that has a flat income tax. And that's regressive. And that means that, um, you know, it's unfair and we got to change the system. So that's that's the first thing we had to do to pay the bills is a progressive income tax. Now, now I, I'll let, break it down for some people. The progressive tax, the more you earn the more you pay. That's right. With the flat tax, everybody pay the same amount. Exactly. And so, you know, frankly, I ought to pay a higher rate of tax than someone who's making 40 or 50,000 bucks a year. And so that that's, you know, the system as it is today is I'm paying the same and Bruce Rauner is paying the same. And that's not right. So if we fix that system, I think we're going to be able to pay for our schools and step up to the plate and put our social services back in place. You know, under Bruce Rauner, with no budget for 736 days. 736 days. It's crazy, it's right? It's the longest. You do that at your do that at your crib. You know what you're going to get? You're going to get an eviction notice. You're going to get your lights cut off. They're going to cut your gas off. They're going to cut your cell phone off. You Come on now, Illinois. Come on. And we all live through it, but it still catches up on us off guard. Well, and, and yeah. truly the damage is done. It isn't yeah. like we, it all got put back because now we have a budget. In fact, the governor tried to veto it. That's why even his friends at the Wall Street Journal decided to call him Governor Junk. You know, and I, I, told, I had to explain to some people, and JB, we could talk about it. Uh, give us a call, 773-763-9278. That's 773-763-9278. If you have a question for our gubernatorial candidate in the Democratic primary, J.B. Pritzker. And I was telling people that if you go to junk status, now we're paying a billion dollars to borrow 
two billion dollars. I think the juice man couldn't have gotten better. Yeah. Did us worse than that. You know, the mafia couldn't do you worse than that. <laughs> it but just cost isn't you that something. what junk? And I told people, you don't want nothing, no junk around your house. You don't need no junk in your state to go down to junk bond status. Yeah, it affects everybody. And I'm not sure everybody totally understands that, that the worse our credit status is in right. the state, the more we all just pay for nothing, by the way. The money just goes yeah. to the bondholders. Yeah. Right. It doesn't go to buy anything or make schools better. It just goes to the bondholders. So what we want is to improve our credit rating so we pay less, a lower rate. It's just like when you go uh, you know, put a mortgage in place on your house. Right, go buy a house. You want the lowest possible rate you can get. And we have, unfortunately, the highest possible rate. In fact, out of the 50 states, which state you think has the worst credit rating in the United States? Oh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> by a wide awesome. margin. Don't, don't tell Illinois. me we're worse than Mississippi. Yeah, I used to oh, be. Oh, we may well be way down south. <laughs> Wait, let me give you, and let me give you one other stat. You know, we're 50th in the nation in credit rating, but here's another Illinois. One. Illinois. Can you, I never thought that, right? Well, worse. Everybody always used to say Mississippi's got to be the worst at everything, right? And we've got the third biggest city in a nation here, it, Chicago. With the highest taxes. And the fifth largest economy in the United States. But wow. here, here's another one. We're 50th in the nation in state funding for education. Oh. 50th in the nation. It, it, you know, I'm glad you brought that up because I was talking to some senator friends of mine, everybody know I'm a retired senator, that... Ronner is prepared. He's let everybody know he's going to veto Senate Bill 1, the fun education. I'm just like mind-boggling. How could you veto a bill to fund education for these babies? And then he said... And uh, we're last. We're already 50th, <laughs> and then you're going to veto. Come on, man. Exactly, and, and, and we need that bill. We need that bill. And, and here's what he said. He said, first he said, well, I like 90% of the bill, but I'm going to veto it anyway. And that's crazy. That is crazy. And then he said he's vetoing it now because of the money that's going to the city of Chicago. Now, that's just wrong because there's no special money going to the city of Chicago. Chicago is getting 20% of the money, and guess what? 20% of the kids are here. So we get – there are 268 school districts right. that get a better deal per student yeah. than Chicago does. 268. So there's no special deal for Chicago. This is just what's fair. And I, I don't understand why he would uh, pick on Chicago. I mean, it, it's not like the money is going to Rom or to the alderman. Or, the money is for the children. That's and, right. And, and, and if you don't fund, I mean, I know uh, uh, Senator um, uh, Maher and Lightford are sponsoring the bill. And, and, and Senator Lightford is one of my best friends. She's always serious about the children. And it's all the children across the state of Illinois. I've had some downstater sons say to me, their schools are going to close. So who is he hurting? Who is this governor hurting? He's hurting the children. He's hurting education. I'm just, and, he, and I, I saw him on TV saying, if they don't do it, if Madigan doesn't do it, I'm going to call them back in the special session. And, and that's just costing more money, costing the, the taxpayers every time they have to go down there more and more money. I, I just don't understand it. So if you were governor... Would you support Senate Bill 1? Absolutely. And not only do we need to support Senate Bill 1, but we've also got to prioritize education at, at the top of the, the list of things that we're, we care about in this state and not at the bottom. Because today when they put the budget together, education ends up being the bottom. It's whatever's left over that's going to education. And if education is not a priority, then the state has a problem. I am so proud that three of my children in a row graduated from college, including the brain right here, Ricky, who graduated from Bradley a uh, year before last. Yeah, Bradley University 2015. Bradley! And did awesome. some things. Congrats. I did some things. Thanks. Yeah. And, and his sister uh, just graduated, Sky Hendon, graduated, and she's living in Atlanta now. I don't have to pay her rent anymore. She got a job. <laughs> And uh, Tyler, his, his brother, graduated from Michigan State the year before that. And I'll tell you, and I'll tell you what, Dan, not to cut you off, but you know, I, it would have been a lot tougher on us as a family to do that if we didn't have those loans um, and those grants from the government, from the state of Illinois. And so, you know, just thinking about other kids who could potentially be in that situation, it really goes a long way to have good legislation in place. You to just make made sure. it too, 2015. Yeah, 2015, I just because I know. those MAP grants got taken away and. You know, a lot of those mm -hmm. kids are, are choosing, by the way, not to go back to school in Illinois and, because of the uncertainty. And some of those yep. schools are, universities are closing. Let's take this call, line two. Hello, uh, Tony from Maywood. You're on uh, with uh, J.B. Prisco on the Ricky Hendon Show. Hi, Ricky. 
Hello, Tony. Great. Go right ahead. Well, you know, one of the most important things we can do all over the state, but Maywood especially, is help people with good ideas who have the drive and mentality to go after starting a business to actually do that, to access capital, to get the technical assistance that you need and the mentorship to start a business. Because you know what? If you start a business in a community, you hire people in that community, and the profits stay in that community if you own that business. That, I think, is hugely important all over the state. Uh, Maywood uh, could use that, too. Now, we also need to use economic development dollars at the state, which means, by the way, we got to get our credit back working in this state. And that means uh, uh, after we do that, we can get a capital bill. Because a capital right. bill will help us invest in economic development, and boy, do we need it. Maywood's just one place where it's absolutely necessary. But I want to point out, under Bruce Rauner, there was point. 5% job growth in the state last year, 0.5, Nothing. in the bottom third of states in the United States. That's just awful. For a state like Illinois, we've got so many innovative people here who want to start businesses, who will create jobs, and they're unable to do it. Now, Tony, uh, you've been in, and you're still in line right, with us, right? Yes. Okay, you've been uh, involved in Maywood and, and, and Maywood politics and all. I, I know there was a time when Maywood was a thriving community. So would an infusion of revenue from the state level uh, help your city um, and, and help create jobs? And, 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 and to me, when you create jobs and create, especially businesses, it gets these kids off the street and, and, and stops the violence because there's been a, a lot of violence in Maywood and the West Side and Chicago. Well, thanks so much, Tony. I really appreciate it. Hope to see you when I'm at, out in Maywood. And thank you for your call. Uh, and I'll call anytime. Thank you for listening. And thank you for your call. Uh, let's take this other call before we go to break. Uh, uh, Mr. Denson on line three. You're on the Ricky Henner Show. Going good. Going good. Okay. Don't don't hang up, uh, brother. This we're gonna come back to you with uh, answer that. What what would be the difference between you and Ronner? And boy, are you right. We got a failed governor. He was a businessman. He's a wealthy guy. By the way, we got a failed president. who was a business. Oh guy. my God. Right. We got a song for Trump coming up in about fifteen minutes. <laughs> The, yeah, no, the, I so absolutely agree. So the difference between you. you and Bruce Rauner, well, because is it, passion it, is it your heart. What's the difference? You know what? This race isn't about money; it's about values. It's about what you stand for. And my whole life, starting when I was a little kid, because my parents were all about progressive democratic values, standing up for social and economic justice. My whole life, I've been doing that. So that's why it's probably not surprising that when I went to work after college, I went to work for one of the great civil rights governors of the 20th century. What, you know, I went and ran the Illinois Human Rights Commission, stood up for civil rights in the state. Um, it's why I created or helped to build, anyway, the, the, the school breakfast program 
that was mostly in black and brown communities all over the state, and why I've been fighting for early childhood education also in low-income communities. It's, it, those are my values, and I've been standing up for them my whole life. You can't say that about Donald Trump. You can't say that so about, Bruce say it about Bruce Brown. So I, that's, that's the history, and it's also about standing up for, as I do, for progressive values like oppressive income tax, like raising the minimum wage to $15, like, frankly, legalizing marijuana and taxing it and also getting criminal justice reform, which I've been standing not, up for. Not, 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 not to cut you off, but I'm, I'm for that because we had uh, Senator Heather Staines here, and the money that, Mr. Denson, you're still in line, whether you agree with it or not, the money that they raised in Colorado, they raised so much money, they gave everybody their property tax money back because they raised so much money. And if people think that uh, legalizing marijuana is not going to fight crime, they're missing it there, too, because it reduces crime. We have a call about crime soon. But do you have a closing comment, uh, uh, Brother Denson? Right. All of it. Okay. All right. Thank you for your call. We're gonna we're gonna salivate on that. We have another call about violence coming in from Springfield, Illinois, on line one, and so we'll tie those in together, and then we're gonna play our song about stopping the violence from Eptone Records and Music. Uh, T Y in Springfield. About violence with uh, J.B. Prisker. Hey, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Just want to say I love that song. It's a great job. Oh, okay. The, the, which one? The, uh, the J.B.? J.B. Pris. Oh, okay. This T.Y. The, a stepper. See, we can step to that song, J.B. We'll be stepping to that in the club, Sean. We're going to be stepping to that in the club. This is the coolest show on the radio. It's called Rhythm. I can see. It's not no boring, see. no boring. No <laughs> boring. If, if you were here in the radio, in the in the studio with us, you'd see he's dancing. Oh uh, yeah, uh, we Facebook Live. He never stops. We yes, Facebook Live. See, hey, hey, we're, hey, live. Live. we're dancing in our chairs here. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Well, let's start with just the basics here, right? We've got, we've got several problems going on at the same time. One of them is we got all these illegal guns that are coming across the border from all the yeah, states yeah. around us that have lower regulation than we do. Uh, and so people are buying guns there and driving across the border, and they're getting sold at gun shows and other places. Mainly um, Indiana, not to cut you off. Yeah, Mainly Indiana. Yeah, thanks to Mike Pence. And so, and so we got challenges with that we got to make sure that we're taking those guns off the streets and you know 50 percent or more of the crime that's taking place with guns uh is is from guns that are coming from across the border so real challenges with that that we've got to address we've also got the problem of when bruce rauner uh failed to get us a budget for 736 days and you know stood up for his uh, right-wing agenda instead um we we when they when the social services fell apart well, guess what? When you lose access to your mental health facility, oh my God. when you lose access to a shelter, when you've got nothing else that's holding you, you know, tying you to society, and you're desperate, that's a moment when people sometimes pick up a gun. Yeah, and what happens, not to cut you off, J.B., but some of these people, these vultures who prey on the young, they give them a gun and say, hey, they, we had a six-year-old, uh, a T.Y. in Chicago, a six-year-old was doing stick-ups on Michigan Avenue. Guess where they got the gun? You know, from an adult. So the, the, when the situation is like what you described, JB, it, it's easier for those who want to just kill, steal, and destroy to get the young people involved in that kind of mess. It's the same thing going on in Springfield, uh, T.Y.? Are you there? I'm here, but, you know, no, we, we don't have the same. Not as bad? Okay. Although it's good. Yeah, so. 
He, he's itching it, to answer it, you. He's itching yeah, to answer I'm, you I'm, right I, now. And I, and I, and I, summer programs, obviously, summer jobs for, for youth, but I think year-round jobs for youth. Year-round jobs. So, yeah, that's hugely important. I, I, and the state can be a real partner right. in that. Thank you for your call. We, we, we got so much, but we ain't paid no bills. And I want to, we got to play since we're on that subject right now. Thank you for your call and thank you for listening. Uh, we have a, a piece called I Want to Live. Can we put that up, Lady B, as we go into this second commercial break? <coughs> Citizens for John Cullerton. This is State Senator Don Trotter. I want to tell you about Cook County Commissioner. I forgot Stanley. about the Stan Moore. Even though Stanley is young, he is a seasoned public servant. Stan has been an advocate for jobs and economic I get it from him. for the South Did Side and South yeah, Side. Having this? good partnerships. I get it from him. You know, in terms of me going into this. You know, huh. He's asking me if I wanted to do it, you do it. I don't want to be politics. Oh, I'm doing it anyway. I don't want to. I'm doing it anyway. Apparently, he's going to do it anyway. Let's get him. Awesome. I want to thank all of you for your support. I approached them from a little bit more of a moderate perspective than my dad. Oh, but I think that that might be a good thing. <laughs> well, he's got too much time. All the more reasons is not. He got the other stuff he can do. You know, man. You can't do both. You don't have to just be. But I let my kids do what they want. No, I mean a little bit of this. Whatever he decides to do, we're gonna support it. Yeah, 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 we're gonna uh, you said what? I'm, I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. I said play a little more of the song and then we'll take life what's called. Okay. Back to me. And when you and see other All you see is crime, destruction, and poverty. You think that's how life is supposed to be. From what I know about J.B. Pritzker, he seems to be more compassionate than a lot of the other people that I've seen out here. 30 seconds. He's almost empathetic to what's going on in our community. J.B. seems to understand that people in communities like this don't necessarily need a handout. We need a helping hand. We need to be able to help ourselves, but we need someone to help us do that. My name is Mark Fullins, and I'm glad that J.B. is running. Paid for by J.B. for Governor. You're listening to WCPT 820 because facts matter. Mike going hot. That's I Want to Live, Eptone Records and Tape. Uh, you can get it on YouTube. 
uh, Earl Powell out of California, used to live here in Chicago. He's a great producer. These children want to live. Stop this violence. We got to stop this violence and let these kids live, okay? Let's do that. All right, let's go back to the phones. Uh, we have Senator Kimberly A. Lightford, I believe, hey. on line one. Senator, are you there? Oh, Rick, are you there? Oh, KK, get KK, okay, KK. <laughs> <laughs> She called me West Side, West Side, West Side. But okay, it's on my show, so you called me Senator. Thank you. Senator West Side. Hey, Senator. Great to be talking to you. Now let me put a let me put a pen in there, and then I want JB. And I don't I don't do not hang up. I want JB to respond. But the the tier two, some people don't don't always understand that. But we looked at, like you say, when I was there, uh, and and yourself and and Trotter, uh, under the leadership, looked at. Yeah, we do need to make some adjustments. And people act like Democrats won't make adjustments in the pensions or taxes. We make the adjustments with the tier uh, tier two was one of the adjustments. And now you've put in there another adjustment uh, as the sponsor, co-sponsor of the bill, in Senate Bill 1. So I don't understand why people be like, oh, the Democrats won't, won't deal with the pension issue. We are dealing with it. Uh, JB, would you agree with Senator Lightford uh, on Senate Bill 1? 100 percent. And then let me start by saying that, Senator Lightford, thank you for everything that you do for education, not just in the city of Chicago, but all over the state, and early childhood education, which I know is a passion for you like it is for me. So thank you, thank you. And, and, and let me also say that um, what, what Senator Lightford is raising is uh, the, that Bruce Rauner, frankly, is lying. He's going around the state, and he's trying to make this a, a uh, war between Chicago and everywhere else in the state right. for politics. No other reason, just for politics. That's for Because the truth is that, that Chicago deserves what it's, is written into that bill. By the way, Senator Andy Menar, who's one of the you know principal sponsors of that bill, he's not from Chicago. Right, and, and Senator Lightford has a little of Chicago, but she's mostly 
Maywood, Bellwood, Broadview, you know, Western suburbs. But she cares about the children of the city of Chicago. Like I say, Andy cares about the children of the city of Chicago. But he also, he, he lives downstate. Downstate. I mean, and so he's caring about them, too. I mean, the point is this bill finally brings a little more fairness into the school funding formula, which has been very unfair. We need to bring more fairness. equitable funding around the state and then within the city of Chicago, of course, we've got to make sure that black and brown kids are not left behind. So, Senator, have you been called um, back down yet? Um, let, let my listeners know what is the current status. I, I saw him say he's going to veto it or something or call y'all back in the session. Have, have they done that yet? Oh my God. with that i mean like like the you know we'll have senate president cullerton here next week and then you have a date with me and little rick on september the third are you going to make it I will. oh my goodness <laughs> i'm getting called out on the radio <laughs> i'm getting called out on the radio Okay, quickly, because we're so up against the clock. Go right ahead. Go ahead. payday loans <laughs> take. Right. And, and Lord only knows who's getting that money uh, off of those, you know, the, the, the loans and, you know, what, what Ronner did for a living for you. And, and unfortunately, ahead. we're sitting on a bunch of IOUs, Senator knows this too, you know, in the state, $15 billion worth that pay 12%, which for a state, you know, for, for a state as wealthy as ours is in, in Illinois, we, you know, we ought to pay a much lower rate. I mean, 7% or 8% lower than that. But because the governor has folded his arms, unwilling to pay the bills, we're sitting here paying 12 percent. It's That's like, crazy. you know, it's approaching credit card kind of debt. Right, right. And he's, so he's doing it there, and he's doing it's, it. It's approaching the credit card debt, like the ones you get in the mail. And that's why they call him Governor <laughs> like, Oh, we got a credit card yeah. for you. Yeah, right. Exactly. My daughter got one the other day. She's like, oh, Dad, they want to give me? I said, look at the back. We went to the back, 28 percent interest. Like, yeah, right. No, I burned that. Cut that up and. And as a result of not having a budget, by the way, spent more than we had to. It was like he's like a, te like a teenager who shouldn't have gotten a credit card. He went out and spent <laughs> all the money. And now yeah, the bill's coming due. He doesn't want to pay the bill. Yeah, who going to pay it? We know Trump not going to pay it. You know, Trump too busy rushing about them Russians. We're up against the clock. We got to play our every week. We have this Trump segment real quick. We're going to make it a short one. 
But let's get Trump in here so I can do this national news real quick. Lady B, Trump. Now you got Trump. Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. He tweeted again. He tweeted again. He tweet, 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 tweet. Somebody need to get his cell phone, son. Somebody yep. he, 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 somebody need to put him on, 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 on a different kind of plan, JB. I mean, the man tweeted that he could, and I want you all to get this. This is progressive talk. The man tweeted that he could. Uh, oh, and bye-bye, Senator Lightford. We, we didn't hang up from you. We love you, girl. Bye. See you later, alligator. Awesome. She's awesome. <laughs> Isn't she on that education? But Trump tweeted that he could he could uh pardon everybody, his son, his his son-in-law, the Russians, he can pardon <laughs> Putin, and he can pardon himself. What kind of this is the United States of America. You know, we pledge allegiance to the flag, not to Putin. Not to Trump. Who does he think he is, JB? He is, first of all, he's crazy. Um, second of all, uh, you know, I don't know if you saw that even his own Republicans, they finally passed a bill. Um, he's gonna, they're going to send him a bill, rather, with uh, sanctions against to, Russia. We're going to see where he is. To take away, and to take away some of his power and authority. Trump is not going to let them do that. He's going to veto it, I guarantee you, and, and, and let the tor tor what is, torpedoes be damned because he's in the bed with the Russians. I mean, they've even come up with other meetings that he had with Putin that he wasn't even, didn't even tell us about. I, I'm just, I'm amazed at everything that comes out every day. I turn on, every listen, I'm so day. busy, and then I finally look at my phone with the alerts, and, and uh, I see a CNN alert I don't even want to look at. And, and all he does, <laughs> he, he all he does, blame the black man. Well, but Obama, Obama, dude, whoa, whoa, Obama, dude. Come on, man. Barack, Barack gone. He partying somewhere. He on some jet skis somewhere. This is Trump. This you and I gotta say this. He declared this week Buy America Week. And then I looked up all his stuff. His ties, built in made in Taiwan, his Trump Towers, uh, uh, still from China, you know, all Ivanka stuff made somewhere else. Stop playing with us! <laughs> we not stupid. And, and oh my I just, God. on a serious note, I mean I, I, I spent all last year fighting against this guy. And, I was, you know, went to multiple states, knocking on doors, making phone calls, raising money, giving money. I went on radio and television, calling him what he is, which is a racist and a xenophobe. And now he's president. We got to fight. We got to resist. I, I can't even get to the rest of the list. Play, play the Trump. Play me one more minute of that. I can't even get to the rest of the list. It's so much. Pardoning himself. Spicer is out. Sanders is in. Uh, uh, Anthony Scardoni. He's a businessman. <laughs> he's a. Ah! What the hell? The Russian gambling ring that was in the Trump Towers right below his office. Yeah. Oh, but that's he not didn't know anything about that. He didn't Russians. know anything about Russians. that. You know. Russians. I see Russians everywhere. I see Russians everywhere. We pledge to the United States of America, not to the sickle and the hammer, but to the stars and stripes. Jeez. Speaks volumes. Speaks volumes. We better take play these last quick commercials real quick. I, oh, I'm going to be the messed up girl. Play these last few commercials, and then we're going to finish up with J.B., uh, but I did want to, before you do that, I did want to uh, announce that my friend, Senator Emil Jones III, is having a jobs fair. We were just talking about that. And an expungement fair. Uh, and this is going to be uh, the 25th. So this is coming up at, uh, gosh, I can't see that. Uh, blah, 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 blah. At uh, the ward office, the 34th ward, ward Center on 111th. And that's uh, uh, Senator Emil Jones III. And, uh, of course, the play and fashion show that Sandra Corley is having September the 9th. Uh, and for that play, it's a uh, play and fashion show, September 9th, 773-234-5494 uh, for tickets. That's 773-234-5494. And we will uh, talk about that as we get a little closer. Last quick commercial break, and then we'll be right back. <laughs> I'm so glad she called in. Did you know she was going to call? Or was she really going to be on the show? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
like it's all over the, the state. And well, you know, we stream live, so yes. we've been getting calls from California, Denver. I love that. I love that you even got Springfield. I mean, I know that's not that far away, but right. most Springfield. Chicago shows only get Chicago. Yeah, but they, they, they stream us online. Yeah. Online. You know, a lot of people, especially the Rickman age, they don't, you know, they, they're on, they left Jordan, they're, they're on their busy. phone, they're doing yeah. everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, non-traditional forms of getting the media. Uh-huh. So we found we got a, a lot of, and then some go to SoundCloud. Yeah. So after, so it's a Sunday. I get it. You know, we're trying to move it. So that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's another story. If I get a chance, we still will have what we need. Mm-hmm. You know, it would just be better because black folks can Yeah, right. But the station kind of understands that. This is the first. Even time. Jewish folks are in church. That's right. We don't too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, you know. No, you're going to screw us if you do it on Saturday because we're in, we're in synagogue on Saturday. I'm just saying as a candidate, I'm in church on Sunday too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but if we can get, if we can, if, you know, we'll, we'll stay on who we are for now. Yeah. We're, we're, we're trying to work at getting this to us. Yeah. Yeah. Be bigger so, audience. Bigger audience. Yeah. And then we get to yeah, I'll settle down. Did you see how quick this is going? Yeah, it does. Okay. I'm sorry. 25 seconds, okay? 25 seconds? Okay. Maybe a quick question. What happens to overlap? Okay, this is it. FCC stuff. I can't see. FCC stuff. Huh? Yeah, yeah. FCC stuff. Oh, that... Mike Hop. That's Simply Liz. And Simply, you know, uh, we've been featuring her all month. We'll get back to it. That was Honey Love. It's available uh, on iTunes and um, Spotify, all of those. We'll play it more. The time just went with JB, and we just want to thank him. Uh, this show, he is one of the sponsors of uh, advertisers on the show, not a sponsor, but one of the advertisers on the show. Friends of Stan Moore is one of the sponsors on the show. We thank uh, Citizens for John Cullerton, SNS Pest Control, and of course, Congressman Danny K. Davis. Please make it to his uh, stated African American male uh, September 8th and 9th at UIC Pavilion. Well, it's been great, JB. Thanks for coming in. Say one last thing for our people, Lima, uh, how they can reach you or something. And Ricky, I really appreciate being here. And yeah, J- jbpritzker.com. If you're on Facebook or Twitter, at jbpritzker. You know, across the board, if you just type it in Google, J.B. Pritzker, you'll find us. But I want you to sign up, not asking you for money, asking you to volunteer. All right. We thank you. Thank you for listening. Another great show. Thank you, Lady B. See you next week on the Ricky Henna Show on WCP Tweet 820, baby. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Lady B. Lady B. Right. <laughs> thank J.B.'s whole team. Awesome. Woo. All right. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Thanks. Well done. All right. I can see who the power of you say hi. Yeah, lady. All right. She keeps us. Hey, Mike. Mike. I want to know because I can.